So let's have a quick look at uh, waypoints and routing. There's two different ways to get into waypoints and routing. One is to go through our home screen, uh, which I've just gone back to my home screen, hit my data, and then we've got an option for routes and waypoints and track, etc. Um, track we've had on since uh, since our last trip coming from the Rochelle. We've currently done 723 nautical miles. Um, I'm going to leave that on. Start track. I'm going to start the track when we go. Let's have a look at routes. So we've currently got our Corona to Cascade route on, um, which is what we finished a couple of weeks ago. Uh, well, a week and a half ago. And then decided basically to leave the boat here. I flew out for a week. Um, came back and just sit in for that weather window. So let's have a look at this route plan. And this route, you can see there's lots and lots of waypoints in there. And that was generated by an auto route, which is I'm going to show you uh, basically how to do that in a second. But let's delete that. We don't need that anymore. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to just delete all. You do get an option um, to keep the waypoints, which I'm going to delete that route and keep the waypoints because I'm going to go into waypoints and have a look at those waypoints for you. So I'm deleting routes but keeping the waypoints. So I'm going to hit yes, the route's gone. Let's go back to waypoints. And as you can see, all waypoints, we've got 90 waypoints in there. So we can add waypoints, delete waypoints, or use waypoints. Um, let's have a look at how to delete them. So uh, I've just clicked on here. And I'm just going to click yes there, uh, which hasn't worked. So let's look at delete down the bottom. Oh, I did, so they've already gone. But we could delete from the bottom, then hit delete all, delete all. So now, let me show you the second way to get into um, routes and waypoints. So if I click on chart, go to my top right hand button, um, and use routes, charts. As you can see, it's exactly the same page we got to uh, last time. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to build an auto route, which is very similar to Navionics, if you've used Navionics. If you've used the BNG, you'll know the BNG doesn't create an auto route. So let's say we're going to go to uh, Largus. So let's find Largus, which Largus should be somewhere around here. There it is there. So Largus up here. I'm going to build an auto route right to the uh, reservation dock. Here. So if I press and hold, um, you'll see there's an option to build route. We'd have to do that manually. So look at more options and just click auto route to here. Okay, so it's just telling me that it's based on boat details and I can change the value of those settings. So let's click OK and away it goes, calculating our route using Navionics Dr. Doc. If you're like me, you're quite excited right now. Um, will it or won't it achieve what we want? A self rate route could not be generated. Um, does not, it does not meet the minimum standard. Let's have a look. Uh, check and modify the route before we use it. That's probably a good idea. So let's see what we've got here. Let's follow that. Okay, so that doesn't look great, does it? We've actually missed the um, channel, but we can go edit that in a minute. Let's have a look at the rest of the route. So the rest of the route actually doesn't look too bad, does it? So you can see how many waypoints we generated and the only thing we might want to do is um, 
edit some of these points that don't work for us. So let's have a look at that. We've got waypoint 258, waypoint 257. Uh, what we might want to do is I just pressed and held that. Let's actually get on the waypoint. Waypoint 258. So let's delete that. So that one's gone, gone from our route. Just pressed and held and followed the menu option. And this particular one here, um, we might want to delete that one as well. Press and hold, more options, um, delete. And this waypoint here, press and hold, more options, and we might want to move that. So we might want to move that just over here to get us to the mouth and hit save. And let's go have a look at our auto route in our auto route menu. So waypoints, routes, it's generated a route called 33. It's 121 miles long, there's 33 waypoints. So let's view the route. Distances between each. And whilst we're in route, we've currently got the option to stop our follow. Um, I won't, I'm going to come out of that and let's have a look at our data bar and see what we've got in terms of uh, bearings to, okay, so our bearing to our first waypoint is 202, we're not doing any speed, I've got a route ETA here, uh, when we're moving that would give me an idea as to what time I'm going to arrive at my destination. There is an option as well to have uh, route ETA with date and time, which is quite useful. So that's a really nice feature. Um, I'm not going to use that route, so I'm going to go in and delete that uh, that route completely. So I don't need to go through my menu. I can actually press on my route line, see route 33. I'm going to stop following it. I'm going to re-highlight it. I'm going to go to more options and I'm going to delete that whole route. Um, as you see there, there's delete route but keep waypoints. I don't want to do that. So that route is now completely gone. Um, that's probably one of the nicest features of the Ray Marine over B&G. Um, quite, quite useful. I will say, as the machine says to you, um, check your route, check all your waypoints and make sure you go through it thoroughly make sure it doesn't cut over anything and make sure nothing is in the way, uh, which is a good idea.